John, now that we've understood the heart and what drives you on doing this, that not only did it save your life, because this is, it's not just about a heartbeat, it's quality of life. And that's the one thing that I'm really blown away by this machine. It gives quality of life to people that don't think they don't have it. I mean, that's one of its biggest things to me that gets me excited about getting older. I mean, there's tools that I don't have to be a cripple when I get older. And so in terms that I can understand, how does this technology work to make the body do what it does? Chinese medicine is based on highly conductive points in the body. An acupuncture point is a highly conductive point. By needling two points, you're trying to get the energy to jump. So you've got to realize your body is one big capacitor and 50 trillion little capacitors inside, like little batteries. Every cell in your body is like a little tiny battery. A damaged cell doesn't have the same resonating frequency as a normal healthy cell. So what this device does is as it looks through the body, it looks for impedance, blockage and resistance in cells that aren't at electrical homeostasis or membrane potential. And this is what Dr. Nair and Dr. Sackman, who got the Nobel Prize in Science and Medicine, proved that you're electrical before you're biochemical all day long. They developed a patch clamp that could isolate and detect these incredibly small tunnel-like structures that are now known as voltage-sensitive ion channels. This is 1991, so if you're wondering why you haven't heard about it, it's only 1991 that they discovered these voltage-sensitive ion channels. When they're operating correctly, they allow waste product departure and nutrient intake. If you can't eat or go to the bathroom, you're gonna die. If your cells can't eat or go to the bathroom, they're gonna die. So we're scanning the body in search of any cell that's got a little flag that's waving, help, I don't have any energy. The common sense is this, you're diagnosed with an EKG. We're all familiar with that for the heart, mm -hmm. an EEG. That's for the brain and the nerves. Right. An EMG, that's for the muscle. What's the E stand for? Electro. Electro. How do they bring you back to life when you got a big heart attack? What do they do? Do they stick a needle in your heart? Mm -hmm. No. They use defibrillator. They use electricity. So you're diagnosed electrically. You're brought back to life electrically. Why aren't you being treated electrically?